esteemed SICHL GMs. Yes, I am talking to you, Jeff, Jeff, Tom, Don, Mark, Mike, Michael, Sill, Taryn, Ryan, Ryan, Chasm. Darn, I thought I'd get through them all. I only got through like 10. Bob, Tom, I already said Don, but he always is worth mentioning twice. Don, Don, and Don. Don, Don, and Don. There we go. Uh, Eric, Matt, myself, uh, Chris, can't forget Chris. I've forgotten uh, young Matt. Oh, we don't say that here. Sorry. Matt of the Mustangs. Regardless of your name, race, Did you forget chasm? color, creed. I said chasm. Okay. I think. You said Ryan's? I said Ryan's. Jeff. I said both Jeff's. This is one off the rails. Yeah. I was going to memorize this. You'd think we'd gone off the rails. But much like SICHL, it's organized chaos. Welcome to the, I don't know how many times we've done this, the SICHL preseason video power rankings, a landmark event in the season, probably second only to the draft, re-rates, playoffs, opening day. Waiver draft. Waiver draft. All-star game. Yeah, the all-star game's good. Uh, whenever Norm does a video, that's mm, good. Yeah. Like whenever... that, that big, like, colonial, like, Colonial Shamrocks game is pretty big. Those are huge. Those sell out all the time. Uh, when Ian does it, uh, does the pup cast, mm, podcast, when yeah. you do a fanatic article, the first time somebody complains that they weren't contacted before big trade goes through, that's a good one oh, too. Uh, aside wow. from yeah, but aside from all those, cool this is this is the best of the best. This is why you tune in. This is why you are all still plagued by the SACHL in terms of your attention. This is why your spouses are angry at you. Why your kids. Are, are also angry with you because you spend too much time playing God with your digital hockey dudes. Welcome. Thank you, everyone, for joining. We are here today at, at Shea Schneider in his, in his very office that he deviated his way to three straight championships. Where I ground my fingers to the bone. I feel gross. And not only that, it's good that I, we're drinking. We'll get to that. But I'm, I'm sitting on the bed I'm sleeping on tonight. It's true. Blech. One feel, on which I have slept I feel, and done other things. Oh, God. I feel, I feel dirty. But it might help me be a better GM. So I'm okay with that. I'm really unhappy with all of that. <laughs> with me, as usual. God. You should I can't be believe so it. This lucky. is like our ninth or tenth year. But sitting to my left is the... I know who you are. It's Matt McInnes. It's the GM of your Vancouver Island Norseman. We haven't even started drinking yet. This is great. Well, Matt, how are you? Thank you for coming. I'm good, thank you, Henry. Yes, all right. We got through that. You think after doing this 10 or 11 times, I would be better at this, but you'd be wrong. Sitting to my right is a man who needs no introduction, sporting some, some lovely home white jersey. Wait, in the SACHL... Are these the home jerseys or are those the home jerseys? I don't actually know the answer. It that. should be. I believe we follow by what should be going it on. It should be. Home it started out because on the road, it was hard to keep the jerseys clean. Yes. That's why you wore darts. I don't know why. They, I do know why they changed it to sell more, but I I still like it the other way. Gentlemen, Hold we're on. Let's take a quick pause. Okay, quick I, pause. I disagree with this. We're not actually pausing. Oh. We're, we're going we're gonna to keep rolling. Mark, don't edit this. The colored jerseys at home are better. Because Nick. it reflects like the culture of the team like no but then you see you see the exact same colors every single night you see exactly. home and that when you're home you know you're playing the purple team right. no the, uh, the, the kind of team x in the nhl isn't the white team they're whatever their jersey color is i can't Where believe do the boring white jerseys on the road uh, i can't believe we're starting off the power rankings just saying agreeing about things that is not how we do it in the sachl preseason video power rankings but conflict does yield good content so this is good. Keep it up. Okay. I agree with you now. No, I disagree. Even more, these should be the homes. So, gentlemen, we have a lot to talk about. We have 30 teams, all 30, that have been scientifically calculated and ranked based on who we like the best. Correct. Yeah. But then that didn't work out so well. So we're actually going to do it based on a secret formula. Based on, I guess, the players? That's how we judge how good a team is? I'll never tell. We never have power rankings for GMs, which is good, because I would never get out of the basement. But we have a lot to discuss. We have trades, we have teams, a lot of movers and shakers this year. Maybe more so than ever, we have some blockbuster trades to talk about. One that happened not four hours ago. Although, this will, this will come up later. We don't do this live. So for us, it was four hours ago. For you, in the future. Several weeks ago. Days or weeks to go. I mean, it's not weeks. You can talk about me if you really want to. No, we will get to you. We will get to you. Right. Um, but we have a lot of other things to talk about. First of all, though, Matt, I think you wanted to do a toast. I don't know if a toast is the, is the right word. Oh, okay. A begrudging congratulations? We do need to acknowledge that every year at the end of the season, there is one team left standing. This year, Jeff, 
has finally managed to do something good out of the world conference. <laughs> just a long, long, long. Yeah, time. I went from booty. Yeah, good yeah. job, Jeff. So, Thanks. in commemoration of Jeff's championship run, the championship victory, I should say, uh, we are all going to enjoy some of the Legable and Offerman edition, which is a classic of, uh, of Jeff and the Revolution. I believe he it was one of the scotches he had in his prolonged ovechkin esque celebration that's taken place. It's very so, impressive. Continue to take place. It's an international celebration. Congrats, Jeff. Congrats. Congrats to the Havana Revolution for their first Continental Cup. About time. Will it be two? Probably not. Oh, okay. We'll find out. Eric deciding to go with math. <laughs> <laughs> math. What has math ever done for us? So we've got our congratulations out of the way. We yeah, have the rankings. That is good. That's it right. is good. It is really good. Uh, we probably the biggest change this year from season to season, aside from Hamilton, is the free agency change. <coughs> I had a lot of fun, but as I was telling these guys earlier, it may just be because this was the first year I wanted to. I, I was rising from the ashes and actually wanted to try and you know compete with the big dogs. Or at least the dogs. Very excited. Not your dog. Your dog is not a huge fan of me. My dog doesn't like anybody. Eric's dog is small and mighty. But the free agency, a huge change. Uh, what did you guys think of the free agency overall? Eric, I know you got thoughts. Super exciting. I liked it. For okay. everybody except me. Because mm -hmm. I... Yes, but that's your own fault. One too much. Your own fault. You know, as a concept, as a concept, you enjoyed it. As a concept, it's invigorating. It's a yes. new way for the league to be doing business uh -huh. and a great way to get money out of the league. So I'm very happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Out of the owner's pockets, back into big sickle. Correct. That's what we want. Okay. Matt, what did you think about, about it's phrases? It's a, it's a really interesting transition. It's obviously, it's a very, very, very big change in terms of how we distribute and allocate players. Obviously, one of the biggest challenges that we've had over the past few years and We've talked about this, I think, in previous iterations of this. And, of course, at the Summit last year is there's too much cash in the system and, in a lot of cases, it's stagnating into very small pockets. It will take a number of years for the new system to help drain uh, the you know league's coffers a little bit. But I think this is it's really interesting. Uh, I think we've already seen some people take different strategic approaches. It's not about money. It's about sending a message. Everything burns. You know, at the end of the day, as they, you know, as as they said in Succession, you know, you're still just writing the biggest number dummy. But there's a more creative way to do it now. I think it's a, it's a really positive step forward. Um, yes, there are absolutely going to be some methods I think that emerge where people will find ways that they think are to their strategic benefit. That is the, that's what we do here. Um, but yeah, it, like two thumbs up. It, it's great. I really enjoyed it. Excellent. I would try and get two. Well, I, get, I can still get two thumbs up. Two thumbs up well and a whiskey glass. So congratulations to who was in charge of that? Was it Mike and Jeff? And Mark. And Mark? Yeah. It's, a, it's a, league -wide, a, a, league, a league initiative, I believe. <laughs> Three amigos plus the league. Well done. And uh, credit to all the GMs who really bought in. And some GMs really bought in to the free agency. Historic highs. As Man, I, I would love to get a $60 million signing bonus. I'll take a $6 signing bonus. I'll take any signing bonus. That's great. This kind of counts as my signing bonus for, for coming over here. I, I don't think we have an official contract uh, drawn up. So, we'll gentlemen, we're, we're running out of our intro time. Is there anything else we want to get off our chest at the top before we dive into teams 30 to 20? 30 to 30 21? 30 to 21. 30 to 21, yeah. Okay. Anything else? I'm good. Okay. Go. All right. Let's go. Here we go. Teams 30 to 21. Coming at you next. I believe John Gibson is the best goaltender in his 20s in the entire uh, other league. Least boring GM in the history of the SACHL. I am racked with insecurity around this process. <laughs> Eric, do you ever get tired of this? Never. <laughs> time like the present to get started. Unfortunately, we're going backwards, gentlemen, and someone has to be number 30. But I'm thrilled that they're in my conference, the friendly conference, the nice conference, the cultured conference. You guys should really try traveling once in a while, by the way. So good, good to get some international flavor. At number 30, we have the Dublin Shamrocks. So 
I don't think anyone has gone up and down more than Ryan, but this is a down year for the Dublin Shamrocks. Uh, before I get started, I should also mention that Matt, before I get started, I should also mention that Matt has ingeniously thought up of an association. Matt, what, what is every team going to be gifted today in terms of a verbal association? Well, collectively, we try to, we try to do a theme in the Precincts and Power Rankers rankings. And this season, each team is going to be affiliated with a drink. It may be a drink that uh, reflects the nature of their, their team today. It may be reflective of the GM themselves, or it may be reflective a little bit of the city which they are they're based in, uh, perhaps in real life or in the SXCHL. So there's a couple different options, and so we will be attributing, connecting some type of drink to the team throughout the power rankings, or at least until we run out of ideas, which will never happen. <laughs> never happen. <laughs> okay, and so the Dublin Shamrocks, Matt, what what is their drink, or what is Ryan's drink? I mean, I, I, we were in pretty much, it's pretty much unanimous instantaneous. <laughs> uh, the, the Shamrocks are an Irish slammer, which you may know by a, a, another uh, offensive name, which we will not use here. No. Uh, but the real intent is that uh, the Shamrocks are uh, a, a little explosive in nature with right. the, uh, the variety of movements. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, they're, they're the Irish slammer. Okay. Uh, unpredictable and destructive? Could be. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so, be. Eric, why? I mean, someone has to be thirty. I'm yes, sure they're not that bad. Uh, well, are they? Uh, be real. Be real. Be real here. Uh, be real. We're, so we're all about family-oriented content that is honest and true. Journalistic integrity. I guess. Absolutely. Absolutely. Why are the Shamrocks rated thirty? Surely we're wrong. We're definitely not. Okay. Because okay. Because they are bad. Okay. The numbers say so. I have them here. Ryan, it's not us. It's the numbers. The forwards right. for the Shamrocks ranked 30th out of 30. The defensemen for the Shamrocks also ranked 30th out of 30. So now, anyone anyone not wearing goalie pads correct. is are mathematically and mathematically the worst in the league. There's no team worse. None worse. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. Hey, you know what though? You, there's only one place to go. Absolutely. And there's only one place to there's go. There's a bright light. Tell me. His name is Phoenix Copley. Okay. He plays in net. Yes. He is a good goalie. Hey, there we go. An actual single good player. Matt, should Ryan hang on to this single good player? Or perhaps trade him away? I mean, to be honest, I don't think it really matters. Really. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't think that's the point. Okay. The, the real thing that matters here is that Ryan has his first pick this year. He does. Um, yeah. That, yeah, yeah, that's, I'm, wow. <laughs> you just started choking. A little so bit. Surprised. I was surprised. Yeah. It's not just the Smoky Scott. No, no, it's not. <laughs> no, but I mean, to, to Eric's point, I mean, the... Forwards three through six on the uh, on the Shamrocks are Vince Hinestroza, Matthew Pekka, Michael, I don't even know how to pronounce, Scarboza, Michael yeah. Scarboza, Josh like Archibald, Archibald, and Cole Gutman, who he got either directly from me or through a series of trades. Cole I can't remember. Gutman. And then Zach Dalby. So, like, this right. is, um, I think Zach Dalby is a team of luminaries, clearly. There's some work to be done. The important thing is um, he's got his first pick. Good job, Ryan. I, I do think that Ryan could make headway on the name power rankings, which we'll be making yes. another another round this year. So collectively, he's got some great names, but not so much skill or talent. But that's fine. Some teams aren't going to compete, and Ryan having his first round pick means he's going to be in a good spot at the end of the year. And you know what? To me, a, a team in 30th that owns its own first round, that sounds like a plan. I agree. And that's not something I think I've ever said before about the Shamrocks. Good job, Ryan. We're proud of you. I like it. Don't you dare stop being you. I had a great time. I, it's hard to believe it's been over a year since the last summit. But we had a great, the three of us, Syl and Ryan, had a great cap, a night cap off for the event, for the summit. Do you remember? We were, at the, we were by the water. Yeah. Well, I, know, I know what happened. I don't yeah, really yeah. remember details. No, 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 but it was fun. We had a nice time. Ryan yeah. was there. It was very pleasant. It was great. I spilled my second beer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> I remember. So Ryan, uh, great job on being 30th. No one else is doing that better than you. Oh. Matt, tell us next up, who is Hoost is number 29? Or rather, Eric, tell us Hoost is number 29. Uh, I'd be certainly happy to. Uh, this one's a bit of a shocker to longtime friends and viewers of the Power Rankings. It's not the Hamburg Gladiators, it is, is it? It is definitely not. Yes. It's the Reykjavik Riders. Wait a minute. 39 and 20 are both in my division? Yes. Good job. I think we've talked about this. Good job, Sil, giving me hope. <laughs> Sil, now this is a very... 
Yeah, this is unusual. Uh, why are the riders ranked 29th? Sill's been well, busy. Can, can I jump in on Please, here? jump in. So the, the drink which we are uh, affiliating with the riders this year is a prairie fire. Because uh, yes. they are absolutely terrible, and okay. it's by design. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Sill, uh, Sill doesn't do things willy-nilly or loosey-goosey. Uh, no half measures. No. So Sill won a few years ago. I don't want to talk about that. Yes, I know. I know. It's, uh, no. Hey, we are, we're all going to win one day, right? No. That's how it, that's that's how how it works. works. That's not how it Sorry. works. I mean, it's been 20 years for me. Sure, the mine's around the corner. So why are, why are the riders so bad, Eric? What Positionally, where could... Do they want to improve anytime soon? Well, they're Maybe an interesting not. team in that they are almost the opposite of the Shamrocks. Okay. Their strengths are at forward. Yes. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Okay. Their goaltending is atrocious. So if they combine with the Shamrocks... They would be a team without any defense. Yeah. And below average forwards at goaltending. Yeah, but but they wouldn't be 30th or 29th. No, they'd be a strong, they'd like, be like, 26. 20, 20, say, oh, yeah. maybe even 25th on a good day. Mm, pushing it. Pushing it. Okay. So the riders, Matt, are not are not very good. Nope. Can you analyze why? I think goaltending is an issue. It, it, yeah, it is. right? I mean, I understand that we, we now have a new draft lottery system that has eliminated... Rebuilding. Um... But the riders are rebuilding doing so in a very deliberate manner. Okay. So, you know, obviously I, I don't think it's I don't think it's necessarily a shock that they were keen to get a player like Anton Landell. Obviously yeah, Zebris yep. gives them uh, certain ways to play the game over the next little while. And you know, at the end of the day, when you have a system that encourages losing for seventy games and winning for ten, you end up with system with teams like the Riders. Okay. This is th this is a feature, not a not a bug. So Zegris might be on the farm for a good while. And not like, be... we're not going to kill him and tell our kids that he went to a farm. It's got really dark. I, I feel he's, like I'm... he's actually going to a farm. Yeah, I feel like I'm not qualified to weigh in on that particular point. <laughs> <laughs> Kathleen's not going to watch this, don't worry. Um, <laughs> we're kidding, we're kidding. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been in, I've been in Sill's position uh, before, not too long ago. <laughs> But he does have some young pieces. Uh, Zegris is going into a bit of a, a sophomore slump, a funk, if you will, in the other league. But surely that's the kind of talent you want to build around. I don't. I don't and think. Lindell. I don't think that Sill is necessarily done doing what he wants to do. I think mm -hmm. there's a, a couple more pieces here um, that you'll see move. Or Hagee with a 95 scoring at only four and a half million. Surely that could net. Some kind of return. significant return. Yes. And there, the other important consideration here, um, we don't always see this with every team, but I think there's a fun factor at play for Sill. Fun? They're fun? fun? What is this? Fun in the SACHL? Gustin, tell me. Anyway, there might not be anybody else in the league who enjoys drafting and scouting as much as Sill. So I wish Sill made a black book. I would buy right? that. I would buy that book. But he probably wouldn't want to do that because then it would give away all his secrets. Exactly. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. So um, where where other teams might hoard assets of a certain caliber, like a Rahegi or a Sorelli or other players that are still, you know, mid twenties, lots of tread left on the tire, a guy like Sylvain might be more inclined to burn it right down to nothing. Start over with picks. I would as, be surprised. As someone coming out of that, it is fun. It's a different kind of fun. Yes. I will say it takes longer. It took long... Well, actually, I don't know if it took longer than I thought. It took about six years. Uh, thankfully, I don't have to worry about my job like the real-life GMs do. Right? We can't get fired, can we? We can quit. We can't get fired. God, can you imagine if we got fired? That would change the league a whole lot. Ooh. There are ways to get fired. Yes, but not through... I think I may have skirted one of them. Not through uh, honest and... Not due to incompetence. And fun... But yeah. 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 Okay. Good. Good. <laughs> Sill. Here we go. We have to epitomize your ranking. Sill. Not getting fired. Nope. Number 28. Who's next? Number 28. Uh, the man not known as Young Matt. Not Young Matt. Mm -mm, that would be rude. Yeah. The Calgary Offensive. Mustangs, to be honest. Offensive to, to, to Matt. Not Matt's old, everywhere. Not old I would Matt. So the Mustang. So mm -hmm. Matt Birch has just pronounced moose tangs. Moose, moose, the moose, moose, moose tangs. Moose tangs. Moose tangs. Moose tangs. So Matt is. I mean, they're not French. I don't Matt, know where they came from. Matt took <laughs> one. 
one look at us at the summit and said, screw this. I'm rebuilding. Okay. So there is no rebuilding. Sorry, no tickets. rebuilding. Right. That's been rebuilding. Categorically he's eliminated. rebuilding at 28 and he's in a tough conference. Not much hope for the Mustangs this year. You do you don't see right. you don't see them having an outside shot at making the playoffs. A miracle run. A Cinderella story for the ages. No. Okay. No. Tell us not why. Happening. Um well, to their credit, they are not the worst at anything, mm -hmm. but they are among the worst at everything. Mm. So 28, 28, and 26 for forward defense and goal, okay. respectively. Weak, weak all around. Indeed. Okay. By design, to yes. Brissy's credit. Yes, of yep. course. So yes. no shade, but this is not a team that's going to be surprising anybody this year. What do the Mustangs have, Matt, that you like? I see a whole lot of draft picks. They, they have collected three first-round draft picks. Unfortunately, what? they've collected uh, amongst their own Havanas and Bamps. So high seconds. It, it, I, <laughs> that drives me nuts. We're, we're doing another, another math Wait, tangent. Oh, good. I like tangents. Here we go. A first is a first. First it, is a first. It, it is not like a second. It's yeah. still a first round. Yes, yep. it's a less valuable first. Right. But like this whole silliness that GMs play with like, oh, that, that first is like a second or that second is like a first. No. no. It is a first or a second. That's there right. is a clear demarcation. I gotcha. No uh, arguments here. Yep. There is no high second worth more than a low first in any universe. You're right. Except maybe in the NFL, but that's confusing because for contract. No, I'm sorry, but the anyway. NFL. Okay. Our friends uh, over in Calgary, just across the Rockies from where we sit nowadays, they are. Um, some of you won't I won't get this, but they're the uh, Northern Harvest Rye version of Crown Royal. So a few years oh, ago, okay. uh, like eight years ago, Crown Royal came out with an all rye version. It won a uh, an award at whiskey, it's an award. And, a school of whiskey award. Thing. Yeah. and it became like a very very hot hot product now over time the product is normalized for a bunch of reasons blah 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 however the reason why uh calgary is the northern harvest is because they're led at the front it's smooth they've got rob thomas and then it's got a little bit of bite at the end <laughs> i like it yeah that's good well, so, okay and may i hazard good value there's value here, no question yeah. about it. Yeah. It, it, yes, no, 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 he can't be. No, no. Bertie's younger. Yeah. Was Bert the one that had to lie about his age to get into the league? Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, okay. Immortalized as too young to be in the league. That was it. No longer. No. Uh, so the Mustangs have some work to do, but I can assure you, uh, Matt of the Mustangs, not GM of the Norseman, Matt, it's a lot of fun. It's just a different game. Mm -hmm. yeah. Same game, different rule. No, not different rules. It's different. It's still fun. We're moving along. Number 27, slightly better than 28, but not by much. Mm -hmm. It's the... I feel like I should let Matt introduce this one. It's the Stockholm Cougars. Oh, it's Tom. Yeah. It's Tom. I said hi to Tom at the top of the show, didn't I? I think I did. I didn't and say hi to Norm. I think I missed Norm. Ooh, oh, my. Should we just read can a we list read? of names? No, we're not doing anything. Can Mark, shoot that first one? Mark can edit that. Can I'm, I'm putting Mark? a lot of pressure on Mark. What's that? Did we forget Mark? No, I said Mark and Mike. Okay. I hope Mark just pauses the video... He's definitely going to end something. Dumped over in his beautiful so. baritone. He's also going to say, stop oh, making me do edits. edits. That's true, too. But that's not going to happen. We're a ramshackle operation. I'm shocked this is happening at all. Number 27. Stockholm Cougars. Yeah. What's, tell us about Tom's team, Matt. I don't know anything about the Cougars, except they're also in my division. Unbelievable. I mean, that's fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> that's really good. We may not be good at hockey, but we're cultured as hell. <laughs> I don't think that is a correlation. No. Mm. Tell us about the Cougars. Tell us. Uh, they got some goaltending. Hey, this is this is the some first. Yeah, yeah, no, this is the first team so far we've talked about that actually has like average of any position, and they're the seventeenth best goaltending in the league. That means thirteen teams covet their goaltending situation. Incredible, right? Okay, well, who's who are their goaltenders, Matt? Excellent. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh. Uh, 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 Bam for time. Uh, 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 their uh, forwards are terrible. Distract them. Oh, they are. Terrible. Okay. 29th. Okay. That's not, that's not good. 
Yeah, that's also not very good. I mean, the okay. fact that they're seventeenth also says a lot about the state of goaltending. True. In the league right now, because their two goaltenders are Akira Schmidt at seventy-two and Anton Forsberg at sixty-eight, who dad apparently franchise tagged. I've been. Hang on. I've been in Tom's situation. Sometimes. Well, hang on. Sometimes you just don't have anyone to franchise, so you'll franchise anybody. Goalies, especially. Get. Uh, is it? I thought it was Schmied. Oh, I think you're. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. Because that's more fun to say. Because it kind of sounds like Smee. From it's your, also worth noting that, that okay. I gave I gave him Forsberg for a sixth round pick two years ago. So good job by me. Collusion among the McKinnis's bakers. Yeah, that, that has not aged well for me. <laughs> not one anyhow. Um, it's the it's house well. McKinnis is full of. The house McKinnis. <laughs> and <laughs> obviously for uh, the beverage, uh, I have deemed the Cougars to be Kokanee, the dad beer. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Now, if there's a North Island beer. Well, that's Why would I have said Lucky? But Dad, Dad was never a big Lucky drinker. Mm. Oh, no? No. You know what our friend Nick does? Nick is a uh, buddy of ours who also grew up in Port McNeil. He brings a 30-pack a of Lucky to Vegas. He, like, checks it, and then he'll start drinking it around because he loves Lucky so much. And every time I've been with him, people comment and, like, run up to him asking him where he got the Lucky. And it is a conversation starter, I will admit. But I, that's what he does. Dedication to a brand. You've you seen him do it. He does it. He does it every time. So the North Island loves Lucky, but Tom, we're associated with Kokanee, the beer out here. Do they still say the beer out here? I don't see any no, more Kokanee it's, ads. No. It's not, I've been forever since I've seen it. Yeah. I don't think that's a good, that's do they a good have a marketing budget anymore? I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. No, that's too yeah. bad. Kokanee. I haven't had Kokanee in ages. Okay, well, well let's stop talking about Kokanee mm. and start talking about the Cougars. But not for very much longer because they're not that great. Yeah, okay. But that's okay because they're in my division, so that's good. Mm. Let's help each other out. I will defeat you, Tom, and then you will sink lower in the rankings and maybe secure a better. Well, sounds good. Win-win to me. Yes. Matt, final word. What, what, what can we say about the Cougars? They also have some work to do. Okay, that's fine. Work is fun. Mm. And uh, now, wait a minute. Have we? Oh, we have had one Canadian team. Okay. We're going to get into the Canadian World Conference conversation, I've been told. I'm just waiting for you to do it yourself. Damn it. I think you kind of just I don't did. think you need any help from us today. I thought it better to just get it over with. Jump in before you guys did it. Oh, okay. God. So well, the, the good news, at 25, we have yes. yet another World Conference. Team. Yes. Correct. Come on, world. We're getting... Hey, 25 is better than 30. That's, I don't know what your math means here. Well, 25 <laughs> is is higher than 30. Not number-wise, so but, but in our calculations. So how does that help you? Um, I don't know. They're better than they're, they're better than Calgary. Coming in at number 25 is? Who's 25? Las Vegas Aces. The Aces? Yep. Okay, so that's Dustin... A, I think a, this is significant. This is also 26, I should know. Oh, 26. 26. Oops, correct. We jumped, 26. We jumped ahead. Sorry, we jumped ahead. 26. Of that. So the Aces, do they have any draft picks at all? Oh, ooh, this is a great question. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to assume up? no. No, I think lately they've been getting some picks back, haven't they? Uh, they, yes. Yeah. They have two first-round picks in 2024. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome, yeah. including Boston. They've got Boston, they've got Montreal. So there we go. And, it then, just, and then no picks for two years? And then they take a knee for a couple years in the draft. Neat. No, um, and then they, they're back for 2027, so, you know, there's there's picks there. There's and a certain symmetry to that. Nobody's picked over the carcass of the 2028 picks yet. Ooh. I think that's mostly because D Dustin's just too busy with work. But, you know, we'll get there. Much like how Dustin has risen from the ashes with his with his awesome radio show, which has a rabbit fan base. I follow him on Twitter, and cool. people love him and his team, Lieutenant Eric, all that good stuff. Can the Aces rise from the ashes anytime soon? They still have some good players on there, Senor. Tell me. Well, so you, you give me a good segue here. Um, we well, have carved you. ourselves a little bit of a tier. Okay. The Aces, while still terrible, I want to be clear on that, right. I don't want to give any false hope, are significantly better than the Cougars are. Okay, so we've gotten so rid of We the, are through the we're dumpster out of the, fire. We're out of tier. the bottom of the barrel. Yes. And now we're hitting kind of slightly still above the Still quite poor minimal hope for playoffs teams. Let's go with the dregs. Okay. Yeah, dregs it is. Okay. I like it. So what what about the aces makes them not the bottom of the barrel? They have some forwards and they have some defensemen that could actually play on a normal SSCHL team. Okay. Yeah. Do we think Dustin is gonna hang on to them or trade them for assets? Because I know a certain Evgeny Malkin could net easily a first. 
Dustin doesn't seem the type to me to. Hmm. He's had Malkin. Out of competition. No, I know he's had Malkin forever. Yes. Matt, what do you think about about the or what drink we should we should get to the drink? Oh, sorry, yeah, sorry, no, mm. that's my bad. Uh, so, and I apologize if we've gotten this incorrect, but I believe the correct drink for the Aces is the six o'clock or longer, which, <laughs> as I, as far as I can understand, is the sponsor for Dustin. Show. Nice, I love it. Or okay. or the the beer that was named for their show, I'm not entirely certain, but that is beautiful. That is the the appropriate drink. I it's would ask team cut to commercial. I would ask Dustin to I would ask yes. Dustin to cross promote if I wasn't worried that a bunch of us would get some like takedowns of legal action like no, like what happened to Guy. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the zombie bears? The zombie <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the bears? The bears. The bears. Um so I like I think there's a world, especially given how terrible the world conference is. There it is. Where the aces actually could get through here. Like they Ooh. have a solid group of forwards. Their defense, in terms of SICHL performance, has, like, it, it could work. It's I do enjoy yeah. that he has also assembled a group of defensemen who, like, several of them are notoriously disliked right. by their respective fan bases. So oh, you've got, yeah. like, Ekholm, you've got Myers, you've got Tyler Blackburn. <laughs> but in terms of... So there's a there's a he's got a type. Let's say it's that. Dustin's <laughs> home for the discarded defensemen. Yeah, it's the island of misfit toys. But, like... There's good performance from an SSC yeah. perspective. And then obviously, you know, you've you've got the old man brigade with Malkin and Taves and Kuznetsov and to a lesser extent Ryan Johansson. I realize that all of these players are younger than us, but you get the point. It's so yeah. relative. Yeah. Uh, Five years ago this team would be like an all star team. Though, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Like truth. It, they're, 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 yeah. It, we'll get to that. There's stuff here, but the fact that they only have that they don't have a single goalie rated over sixty seven, um, and they only have two goalies, period. Yes. Um, that puts them at 29th, by the way, for Bolton. Yeah. Okay. And you know, you're, spend, you're spending nine and a half million dollars and have no starting goalie. You have like one backup goalie really and no yeah. third string goalie. So like if I were to bet, I, I think there's a good chance that, uh, the aces are, are drawing into the well of the, the e-bug first, uh, oh, the e-bug, mm, the dreaded e-bug. Cause you can't, I'm, I'm nervous and I have like five goalies and I'm nervous. He only has two. That's it. Any injury, and he can't even he can't even have a backup. Break Their farm down. team is going to concede sixty-one goals a game because they don't have any goalies. You're really flying with the math today. What? What do you mean? Well done. What do you mean? Quick math on the fly: sixty-one goals against five goalies to your two. It's what? It's good. I didn't do any math. I just made it up. Oh, okay. What do you mean? Sixty it sounded accurate. Oh, what? That was some sort of advanced analytics. Yeah. Right. No, I just thought I just imagined a humorous awesome. situation on a farm team. Where the guys are like, we don't have a goalie today, and the other team is just going to constantly put pucks in there. You know what? We'll be able to track this on the GHA site. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> I think that might have been some sort of the most promise kind of <laughs> Can't wait for that future site. site. All right. So the Aces are down. They're probably also out. Yeah. But they have two draft picks this year. Yeah. So that's something. Mm -hmm. And if Dustin wanted to, he could get he could get some picks for trades. Correct. Okay. Yep. There we go. Easy. We've solved the Aces' problems. Moving on, whomst is next? Whomst, Eric, Dust. Dusty, and the Jacksonville Gators. We have back-to-back -back Dusties? We do, isn't that wild? Oh, that's It was wild. Oh, what conference are they from? Where is Jacksonville located again? I can never... Canada. Remember? It's in New Brunswick somewhere. <laughs> I mean, there may be a Jacksonville in New Brunswick. <laughs> nobody, <laughs> nobody would know. It's in the corner. It's in the corner of New Brunswick. No one knows. No one knows. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I'm sad because I missed Jackson out game. on some good players that Dusty was trading. So I'm sad now. But I understand why he did it, because I think the return he got was better than what I could offer him. But the Gators are are the now... Bortles. The what? The what? The Bortles. The Bortles. Yeah, the Bortles. Yes. Okay. So we're clear. So what is their drink? And then we'll go to you and figure out why they're not so good. Great. Their drink is the Alabama Slammer. Yeah! Both because of geography and because they're crazy. Okay. Yeah. All right. I like it. I think that's fine. When I think of an alligator, I think you would have to be crazy to live anywhere near them. Because I would go down to Florida for work back in my affiliate marketing days. And there would just be like alligators all around. One of the businesses I went to, one of my clients, they had a, a pretty big alligator in their yard in like the back pond. And they showed it to me. We were elevated. And I said, what, what was it? And they're like, oh, don't worry. When it gets too big, they take them away. I'm like, what about the day before they take them away? It seems crazy to me. They live in in, a, in an environment 
where it's proven that the heat makes you completely psychotic. Can you imagine Florida for us? I mean, there's a reason we don't live there. You can't walk anywhere. It's too hot. It's too hot. Humidity's way too hot. And there's dinosaurs roaming around. Literally, they're like, if there's a body of water and you can't see through it, assume there's an alligator in there. Who would live in this place? Like a million people? No, I think Florida has like... How big is Jacksonville? Isn't it one of the biggest cities in the U.S.? I hope not. I think we're, I think we're straying here. I'm not. We're talking about I, why they're crazy. I'm Jacksonville. going to Wikipedia. <laughs> okay, right you now. Wikipedia. Matt, tell us, tell us about Jacksonville and why uh, we're very proud to have them in the World Conference. I think that the, the Jacksonville Bortles, as we see them today, are a very you okay. It's very, you're just so consistent. You're very funny tonight. Are they're not going to be this team in a couple of weeks? I think that uh, Dusty's still doing some work. Okay. Um, to it seems like he's tearing it down to the studs. Okay. Um, so I think that you'll see a couple guys move on, and there's a good chance that by the time we get sort of a week or two into this season, um, that this team probably may land closer to that bottom three or four group, and at, at least outside of this tier of whatever we're calling above the dregs. Can anyone stomach Patrick Kane's contract? That is a, that is a boat anchor. Uh, yeah, I mean... Really? Yeah, somebody's somebody's somebody will take it for sure. Fifteen for four years. Is Kane playing in the other league right now? You don't think so? No, but he wants to come back. Okay. Um, okay. Now we, he's certainly not going to play for the full duration of that. I can't imagine. No. But yeah, I mean, we we've we, seen worse decisions. We have seen. I was going to say not by me, but that's not true either. We, we've seen some stuff go on. Like, I, I think if he wants to move Kane, he'll be able to find a buyer. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. I should Really, what I should do is watch the power rankings after we're done and write down all these tips. That you would, said that last year. I think and that I would help me. I suspect you did not. Yeah, but look, and look how much further I am this year. Ooh. Maybe um, something to the this. notes I made on the power <laughs> rankings. What are their rankings, sir? Uh, well, I'm going to ham fist my way into a, a segue here. Segue it up. Buddy. It turns out my brain does function occasionally. Okay. Jacksonville is the largest city in the United States by area. Oh, huh. 874 that? square miles. Wow. And this is freaking enormous. And yet, in a city that size, mm -hmm. they could not find anything better than the 26th best forward, mm -hmm. 23rd defense, and 25th goaltending. It's probably because they have to read off a lot of the geography right. all the good for the alligator ponds no, for the for the alligators yeah, that's fair. probably what it is that makes sense they're probably yeah, like it we is need just to, a gigantic we've lost land. the alligator yeah. battle we need to just succumb, surrender that yeah. land to them we've they've seceded the land from us it doesn't it doesn't surprise me at all hmm. all right well there are the gators i would say that's probably our least silly analysis so far right least silly so far going forward i, mean, I don't know how to assess that hmm. I think you're wrong. Though. Guys, Where's, what's the scale? Here's the thing. When we're talking about such legends like Ian, Chasm, Jeff, Matt, Eric, Mark, Michael. No, we won't do that again. again. No, we're not going to try it again. Don't worry. <laughs> they tune in for... for the preseason power rankings for hard analysis and brutal math. Not silly hijinks and friends having a good time. Wikipedia facts. This is why we only get four views on these videos, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and there's 30 of us in the league. Okay, who's next? We gotta keep rolling here. Who's next? Next up, the Regina Bisons. And what conference are they in? <laughs> Regina rides with fun. Woo! <laughs> yes, that is in the Canada conference, I believe. It is. Okay, so congratulations. There's two whole teams that belong at the bottom of the league from Canadian conferences. Yeah, nice. but they're really bad. And they have to live in Regina. Really bad. Yeah, yeah. so they're, they're not actually. No, they're a worse. They're team. not? I mean, there's a number of worse teams we just, well, we just talk literally about. talked about that. I forgot already. I thought we were in a 24 league team. <laughs> the <laughs> Regina Bison, Bison are the Bison. old style pills. They're 24. Old we're style pills? Old okay. style okay. Sure, why not? It's a classic prairie beer. Nothing sure. wrong with that. Yep. Um, it's, it's, it's steady. It's, yeah. That's, that's no. kind of how I would describe the overall situation yeah. with uh, the Bisons. They've got, they've got Austin Athens. They do. That's. That's the story. Here. He could put the that biscuit is in the basket. Exactly why they have the twentieth best forwards, but then it's twenty-five and twenty-seven for D and. And you know why they have such a terrible D? Please tell us. It's Brett Kulak. Uh, I walked into that one, didn't I? You sure did. My boy. What's wrong with Brett Kulak? I will not stand for this Kulak 
disrespect. Yeah. He's a former Vancouver Giant. Oh, I did And that. a former Nova Scotia Schooner draft pick. What happened to him? Nothing at all. He's a perfectly serviceable NHL defenseman that Matt will not acknowledge. Right. But he's no longer a Schooner, so you must well, have not liked him at one point. No. I, I mean, trade almost everybody that yeah, I like every true. We've established yeah, this. That's true. He's yeah. he's very good, which is why he is the number three defenseman on the number twenty seventh ranked defense mm -hmm. in the SACHL. Okay, how old is he? Twenty eight. He had a few good years. Come on, give the man a break. I would say twenty eight. He's just entering his prime. Oh, that how that works? Do you think? Do you think Jeff is like, oh boy, I can't wait to watch the SACHL preseason power rankings and hear what they say about my team? And we've spent most of it talking about Brett Kulak. Well, he also has soup that's in kind that. of on brand for this panel, though. I guess so. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Would you say that? He's got soup in that. So, it's like, that's the, that's the yeah. challenge here, right? Also, a former schooner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got my fingerprints all over this roster. Yeah. I don't know if that's the thing you should admit on video. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, the challenge with the team, though, is, is certainly the goaltending situation right now. Um, there, there's not somebody who you're going to be happy to, to play for a lot of games. And that'll be, I think, most likely the, the downfall or the challenge that the team faces. But, you know, like, there's a lot to like in the yeah. forward group. Like, I, I, there's, there's talent there. There's, a, you know, there's a young guy. And, you know, Matt Boldy's awesome. Yeah. Um, and you're going to see a lot of growth in that area. And I think you've got some guys as well with some solid ratings, like, regardless yeah. of where they slot in. Like, you know, Marcus Foligno, always with the 99 checking and big defense rating, like, there's, there's stuff to work with here. Yeah. Facts Marcus, is always useful. There's plenty of those kinds of guys. And Marcus Foligno loves a good foy. He's 99 fighting. He also is 99 fighting. Mike Tyson of the SACHL. Hmm. All right. Also played. Well, there we go. It'll be interesting to see if Jeff does move. Because I know he said, I think on Discord, I think he said he wanted to trade or was entertaining offers for Matthews. But someone's going to really have to give up an arm and a leg to get him. But I can see some teams doing it. I well, there were offers made last year. Hmm. We just saw, you know, Austin Matthews Light get traded. So, whom is that? Uh, Tis Mitch Marner. Mitchell Marner. Yes, we will get to that trade very soon. Unfortunately for you. <laughs> okay. Nicely done. Yes. That was well. Next up, and we're we're going to twenty one on this one. So, what, who do we have next, and what place place are they? This is twenty three. Twenty three. The last of our what, what were we calling it? the dregs uh, tier. Yeah, they were at yeah. the ranks. Yeah. yeah, this is the last of these teams before things really get interesting. So, okay. the St. Louis Spartans, surprisingly. No. I know. No, I so don't low for I don't their usual it. standing. But Didn't the Spartans just making wow. a big playoff run a few years there's, ago? There's a, there's a very good reason for it. This is actually oh. a pretty solidly average playoff bubble kind of team, okay. except for they just have no goaltending. And we, we can say that about more than a few teams. Yes. Goalies are that hard to come a up. Theme this There's year. a reason that Don drafted eight goalies at the summit. Surely one of them's gonna land. Mm -hmm. Right? Matt, so, tell us about tell us about that. Here's the interesting one. I, I I do not have a bad word to say about Spartans. Sure. My guy. Oh. The back corner of the of the draft room contingent. Mm -hmm. But what's interesting is with the the way that the goalie durability got boosted this year. Big fan, by the way. Um, and also just wasn't as disastrous as last year. Mm. Like, he's got Marc-Andre Fleury. This is true. Who's a plus goalie and has a very good durability rating. Like, if he manages to do, like, some Hellebuck magic, yeah. like, there's, you know... Yeah, and they also, could negate that, it's true. And also the fact that he plays in the World Conference, so he's competing against, like, five teams. Mm -hmm. The Spartans could be better than the power rank, than their preseason power ranking. And all, Interesting. Like, they've got some firepower. Like, yeah. When you look at what they can do in terms of scoring, they got Kopitar and Keller, McCann, and Oshie all with 80-plus scoring. Oh, uh, Jerry right. McCann is a 94. Uh, I feel I you, really, oh, God. Right. In, in defense of your team and my team and Florida and the Leafs, a lot of teams did not want to be in the Jerry McCann business. Yes. Like, you don't see a player who scores 40-plus goals. I think he broke 40 to yeah. get past yeah, on his fifth team. Like, that's very yeah. unusual. Mm -hmm. Well, the Pens lost them because they decided to protect Jeff Carter in the experience. Yeah, that was also a poor decision. But yes, it was. But yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a good call out, Matthew. The uh, the power ranking formula does not care for things like durability. Right. So in a situation where there's a team with just two goaltenders, they've already lost X percentage because third goalies matter. Right. We've proven that time yeah. and again. Yeah. 
They're not weighted heavily, but they are weighted. They're not weighted heavily, but they matter. Yeah, yeah. And then backup goalies really do matter. And uh, what's Sean's backup goalie again? 50-something? Incomplete. Um, I mean, he's got the... Injured whatever. and a 53 overall? Kevin, he's got, he's wait, got the Mandalorian. Kevin, Kevin Mandalorian. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Sean is a goalie called Kevin Mandalese? No. It's also worth noting, he's not actually injured. He's, he's just exhausted. Oh, okay. So in an effort Sounds to protect right. um, Flurry, I'm assuming that he just rode him into the ground. For <laughs> What's great is that Mandal you could really get, because the Spartans have that helmet with Mandalese and Mandalorian. A of There's a lot of promotion yeah. possibilities there. Very that one's cool. free, Sean. Sean, we could talk about you all night, and we're going to after the videos. It's not weird, don't worry. Uh, but we've got to move on. Oh, no, we forgot his drink. The drink, obviously, ah. is the Wild Honey Blonde Ale from Nelson Brewing. And this is the easiest yes. one that we take the entire course. Swish. Um, Mouth. What a oh man, legend a legendary a legendary uh, speech and, and thought uh, by Mike. Yes, um, and obviously they, we could have picked anything from Nelson Brewing, obviously, yep. but we went with the Wild Honey Blonde Ale because I believe that was one of the ones that came in the uh, the pack that Mike so generously gave to to Sean. Plus, in his uh, Toronto Island or whatever island we were on, in his young years, Wild Honey Blonde was probably his nickname. Sean's nickname. Yeah, I hope I can I, totally I, see that. So that that, that, that tracks. Yeah, things just got spicy. No, I already told Sean it's not weird. Oh. It's not weird, Sean. Don't worry. Next up, we have, and we're entering. We're on team number twenty-two, so we only have two more teams to go mm. in the first video. We're still in. Are we still in the same tier? No, here? sir. This is We've the start exited. of a. Okay. Very dense and uh, what are we yeah, what are we gonna tier. call this what are we gonna call this tier? Um, climbing the ladder. Well, well, it's not bad. I'm using my tiers from my 500 block. Let's go with it. Okay, climbing the ladder. The first team in the climbing the ladder tier is whomst? Gary's Boston. Hey, Colonials. the Colonials are marching on their way up. And they are in which conference, Henry? American. World American. Conference. Boston's very close to Canada. The worst It's conference. not that close. <laughs> it is kind of close. Kind of close, but not that close. All right, so what... What's your scale here? That's what, a good one. When Jolly Green Giant steps? The Hamburg's really far from Canada. Boston is not. That's the scale? <laughs> okay. International sure travel. Are. Cool. Yeah, Boston's not in my division, well, but he is in the world. Um, so tell us about Boston. And we got to start with Timmy Stew. Maybe the best player from that draft. Looking pretty solid so far. So and far. A big reason why their forwards are 15th in the league. Really? Yep. So Boston is going to put some pucks past opposing teams' goalies. Yes, sir. You would reckon. I would reckon. Okay, so what, what are their other stats uh, looking like? Well, the goalies are also not terrible. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What will work to do on defense 21st? Okay. 21st. Okay, so, so defense... Below but, average, but respectable. Okay. So their top four defensemen are going to try and play a lot mm -hmm. more of the top three more of the top three okay so we have brett pesh e is it pesh or pesh 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 and then nick leddy pesh go with leddy go i like with that nick led and uh <laughs> nick jensen yeah okay so not necessarily superstars in the other league but some very useful ratings on the defensive end their experience if they manage to get into the playoffs. Other stuff could become like he's got Bolkvist and Braden Schneider mm -hmm. on on the back end there, in terms of already rated players. So mm -hmm. like you might get some help there. Doesn't look like it's a whole lot immediately coming in terms of his defensive. Other uh, than prospects. Oliver Bunk. Bunk. I like Bunk. It's a fun fun word to say. Yeah, Gary has been my basement buddy for quite some time, mm. meaning we're both in the basement and that we've been trying to improve our team. Yeah, That's we what that haven't means. heard your name yet, though. My name? Your name. Not yet. Mm. What's interesting Not about yet. Gary's team compared to years past, Gary doesn't have a first, second, or third round draft pick in the next two drafts. Interesting. Okay. So he is... So he's He's climbing his way up. He's, okay. he's, he's climbing okay. things out a little bit to get where he's at. The proof is in the pudding. Like he really that needs, is something people say. Yeah, he really needs some of those defensemen to uh, to develop in future years, and then to start. I, I believe okay. I believe there's a young goaltender uh, who plays for Carolina in that other league. Mm -hmm. Who Gary perhaps has hitched several of his wet colonial wagons to. And what drink do we have for Gary tonight? Then? Boston is unsteep steep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Sure. 
it's celebrating, why. celebrating his, his team's history. Or city's history. Go ahead, man. Well, celebrating the city's history. Ah. And also, oh, 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 oh. Pepper's home. Okay, oh, that was way. Pepper? That was Pepper. Jeez. I, t- I warned you. It was not a bullhorn. It was a dog. I thought that was well, like Let's a... continue. Anyhow, sorry. Some sort of wolfhound. Yeah. Is that what? Anyhow. No, it's, 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 no, he's a little 18 pound border terrier that sounds like some sort of deranged like, uh, fox hunting dog. I wish Pepper had started barking when we got to Dawn's entry. That would have been oh, my God. perfect timing. Sorry. Okay. Gary's team uh, needs a little bit more time, but it could be really good after a little more, a little more time, a little more. Sleep. Okay, I like it. That's too good. Let's move too on. For we've, me. Got, we've got one more team. We're sticking to our under five minutes per team pace, so we're not here all night. Ooh. Gary, congratulations on not being the worst team. Stay strong, buddy. We got this. The final team in this video, number 21 That's is... Right. Is... I don't know. I'm just going to say it. This is my uh, my favorite team from a branding standpoint. Aww. It's pretty good. It's pretty great. It's pretty good. I, the T-Rex, Terran's Toronto Rex. It's really good. I yeah. like... I like you got Terran, Terran... Terran's... The name Toronto. Terran already invokes a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Toronto, can you imagine if a, tra- a T Rex was in Tyrant- Toronto? Tyranna. With the Tyranna, with Tyranna. the rat with the Raptors. Yeah, just all around a strong branding exercise. He may have won the lottery, if memory serves correctly. May have? Didn't he win? I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah. Didn't he get the dart? He did. Yeah. yeah. So right. The the, the Rex are yeah. my brain. Yeah. Are, are the Pappy Rip Van Winkle ten because it's all about the hype. Oh. It's all about the hype. Here. Oh, just the hype? Just well, I mean I listen to a whole podcast about Pappy it's Van Winkle. Tasty. It, it's all and I suspect that Connor Bernard will also be very good. Right. Very tasty. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I deliberately avoided saying that. <laughs> but yeah, he really missed opportunity there, but okay. He's underage, remember. I don't think that has anything to do with it. <laughs> okay. It is all about um, the, the big name brand hype recognition of what he has in Connor Bernard. Like, there's some other nice pieces within the franchise for sure. Um, what's happened with Hirscher over the past couple of years is very exciting for him for sure. Yep. Um, he just won a trade and he's got other players, but he also just won a trade for Ilya Mikhaev, who looks to Ooh, be nice. Yeah. Looks to be on the verge of probably what's going to be a big. SICHL breakout rating season, uh, as long as he can stay healthy. Um, Sean Dursey, mm-hmm. on the blue line, is probably also going to experience a similar big bump. Yeah. So, you know, there's 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 stuff here. Aiden Hill. Uh, oh, this is it. Yeah, the goaltending. The, 13th best in the league. They have a lot of goalies. Yeah, the only one we really need to talk about is Aiden Hill. Yes. So, Who is, is he injured or exhausted? Uh, we, he's going to miss the first month of the season, but with a left um, hip injury. What matters? What matters for left. him isn't this season; it's what's right. to come. Hill is probably going to get some very nice re rates. I'm yeah, guessing. That way. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know that's what matters. Like honestly, Aiden Hill being hurt this year is probably a good thing for his club because you know there's there's some stuff. Well, actually, it'll be hard because his share is on a second contract, but there's a foundation. Here. Or do you think they have an outside shot at sniffing the playoffs? Absolutely, they do. Being yeah. in the Canadian Conference, really? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, there's so this this tier that we are in, um, like I said, is is pretty densely packed. So just to give you an idea, the the first few teams on our list in that uh, dumpster fire tier, we had somewhere in the one to one point nine OV kind of averaged up points between a few of them. Okay. This next tier that we're in. From Boston up to team number 16, there is less than one overall point between those, Okay, what is that, so eight teams. We're starting, to get, teams. we're starting to get on a crowd real tight. bus here. Real tight. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, so lots of movement up possible there. We don't really see Taron trading away a bunch of assets or anything like that. You think he might be able to go for it? He could if he wanted to, okay. and it probably wouldn't take too many moves to to rocket up that list. Mm-hmm. Conversely, if he stays where he is, no guarantees that he, he gets anywhere with it. So okay. you know, it, it might be decision time for some of the teams in this tier. The middle teams are always really interesting to me because like you, yeah. you do not have a clear plan. Obviously, the, the big dogs have a clear plan. You know, we talked about Ryan and Sill, etc. Like, it's obvious what they're going to do. Teams kind of 21 to... 
11 ish. Like, we don't really know. And we've yeah. seen teams like Rocket, I think it was the Monarchs last year. At one point, the power rankings were like 22nd, and they eventually shot up to like third or fourth. They went on this crazy heater of a run. The sim is very weird sometimes, and sometimes you just get that magic line chemistry, and it works. So, like, it's at this point, we're, we'd be foolish to say there's no way this team makes the playoffs. Doesn't make yeah, the playoffs. So, like, sure. we gotta, we gotta see, see where the, come up with a cool metaphor for me, Matt. Quick. See where the cards lie. See where the tides go. All bets are off. All bets are off. There we go. Thank you. All right. Matt, any final thoughts about the Trex and what their drink is? Sorry. We we'll recovered that. We'll, yeah. What was their drink? We'd, we'd love that. Pappy. They're, oh, Pappy Van Winkle. But, 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 but the, yeah, sorry, the sorry. lower tier of the Pappy. Right. The 10. The, 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 right. the Rip Van Winkle 10. Mm. We are over time. Thankfully, we're not over budget because we don't get paid and our budget is zero. So there we go. Thank you all for watching. That is teams 30 to 21. Next up, we're going to have teams 20 to 11. 20 to 11. There we go. And then we'll finish up with the top 10. 20 to 11. I'm probably going to be in this group. No, I mean, I don't think we want to tip our hands that bad. Oh, we? I mean, spoilers. Well, that means I'm in the top 10. No. I can't wait. Stick around. We'll see you soon.